guys, it's Kate. Welcome to Go Brands with Narcissists 101. Thank you for joining me. And if you haven't subscribed, guys, please do. Don't forget to like and share as well. Guys, our topic is the two major things that the covert narcissist new supply did not plan for, you know, in their relationship with the covert narcissist. Two main things that they did not plan for. Now, that's besides the normal order of things that eventually happens. You know, the, the value discard and everything. Besides that, you know, when they get together with these people, they, they, they bond over you, you know, because of uh, what you did wrong and didn't do right. So that's how they focus on that. So their relationship seems like they have something going on. But, you know, they bond over you. But eventually, you know, things, of course, it takes its course. So one of the major things that the covert narcissist new supply did not plan for was the fact that um, when the covert narcissist was uh, trying to get the kids or take custody of the kids, that... They are bringing them for the new supply. Okay, so you know when, you know, they are fighting for custody and then the new supply is, you know, with them in family court, you know, against you or they they come together and they present this united front, in quote, you know, the more stable family structure that the kids will stay uh, with them. You know, and the new supply is, of course, probably, you know, joining the fight because they don't understand why you don't want them to have full custody of the child or what. Why you don't have them to have more time, more visitation time? Because it clearly, you know, the covert narcissist is is is, is the better parent, right? Because that that's what they presented. So the the new supply, of course, you even you see that they join the covert narcissist in fighting you for custody. Now, what they don't get at that time was that we eventually find out, of course, that uh, they don't really care about the kids. So why they are fighting to get the kids? They're just trying to win, but the new supply doesn't know that. So when they eventually get the kids or they get the full custody of the child or they get, you know, the extra visitation time, they are bringing all that to the new, the new supply. That's the new supply's job now. That's what the new supply didn't plan for, that the whole time they're trying to get custody of the children, they're bringing the kids to them. Because, you know, eventually they overwhelm themselves because the covert narcissist will not want to help do anything. That is the new supply's job now. So if they have full custody, that is the new supply job. They take off and do whatever they want. If they have a station time, they will just ignore the, uh, leave the case with a new supply. You know, like I was telling you guys in my case for a week and a half, uh, the covert narcissist left my children, even though I, I am available for them to return the case to me, he left them with a new supply. So the new supply actually was taking the kids and her own uh, child to, to work because she was working like in a, in a home health uh, agency. So they we're going to, with her to work. Because she had no other place to leave them, you know. And the, the narcissist obviously didn't care. He, ju he just took off. They didn't make plans to send the kids back to me. But, you know. So now she's taking the children to, to work because she had no other place to leave them. So that's what the covert narcissists would do. While you're trying to fight with the, the new supplies, trying to fight with them, get the custody of the kids, get full custody of the kids. Because, you know, they told them that they're a better parent than you. You, you know, you, you, uh, you are the worst parent, you know. What they don't know is that they are bringing those kids over to them, you know, because now they are in charge of them because they don't really care. The only thing they cared about why they were fighting with you was to win because you wanted the kids. So they need to win and that's it. So when the children come over, that is a new supply's job. That is something that the new supply did not plan for because eventually they will be overwhelmed with being the single parent in their relationship, just like you were. One of the stuff that, uh, another thing that they didn't plan for is the... You being the topic, constant topic over there, because, you know, the, it's really when you stop engaging. And when I mean that, I don't mean that you let people cross your boundaries or whatever. No, it's just you picking and choosing your battles and seeing the provocations when they show up for what it is and just kind of turn the other way, you know, reserve that for the major stuff. Because, you know, when they're, they're going with this new supply, the discussion was, you know, how crazy you are how you're busy, busy fighting everybody in the street, you know. So you are this, this crazy person. You are this out-of-control person. So imagine the shock of the new supply when none of that happens, you know. They're not prepared for you not to push back. They're not prepared for you to be agreeable with things because at the end of the day, you your focus is on the kids, you know. And that's it. You're not looking for conflict. So the, what they're not prepared for is the way that the the covert narcissist is busy trying to provoke you because it never stops. You become you are the topic all the time over there. This is what they didn't anticipate happening because when they were dating, like I said, when in the beginning, the love on phase, 
you were the topic. So the the new supply is fully expecting you to be crazy, coming to their house, yelling all the time, banging on the door, refusing to let the kids go or holding the kids back. So the shock now is that you do not have anything to give them. And like I said, I don't mean that you letting people, you know, them cross your boundaries. No, you just pick and choosing your battles and keeping your focus to where, where it matters. And that's the kids. The new supply is not expecting that. And guess what happens when the, the, the provocations that they hope that you engage in, the, which is the glue, you know, they, they, together they talk about you, together they, you know, how you are the topic, the glue that goes, holds them together. When you're not fighting back, you know, that's why I say when you move on and not focus, don't, don't engage in anything, guess what happens? They realize exactly how far or how much they have in that relationship. That's when they start fighting each other because any time limit, any time you do not engage with the covert narcissist, they take that frustration out on somebody else. Guess who that is? You know. So the new supply isn't prepared to uh, uh, to get the version of you that you know <laughs> that they get afterwards because that wasn't what was presented. And of course, they didn't know that at the time they were helping to fight for custody with the covert narcissist, that they were trying to get the case so that they. Then now would be the you know the, the you know the primary caregivers of the children because the covert narcissists don't give them really, you know they eventually find that out. All right, guys, get a hold of your mind and everything to fall into place. Please like and share. Thank you.